I've been thinking about losing a few pounds, getting myself into shape. I'm not comfortable with the top part of my body. Of course, I'd love to be toned. I mean, everybody does. Every woman wants to look stunning on her wedding day. Now, help is on the way for Bulging Brides. It's okay. tight. Is it up? No. no. One, <laughs> two, three, go. Meet Lori. This wannabe princess is bulging out of her dress just six weeks before the wedding. I'm in trouble, guys. I can't get another dress. It's too late. It's down to crunch time. I have to make it work. I'm really worried, you guys. This is not fitting. Bride alert. The levees are broken. Lori's flowing out of her dress. Let's go help her. Somebody in trouble? <laughs> Tommy Europe, personal trainer. Seriously? The Deep Bowman Nutrition Specialist, how are you doing? <laughs> I need to help you guys. Another <laughs> case of back ass. Yes, we do. You're going to need this as your food diary. Keep track of everything you eat for one week. And Lori, this is your new uniform. Wow. Yeah, I really hope I'm disciplined enough to uh, get through this, because it's important. This is a big day. I want to look good in my dress. That's pissed off? No, Ugh, that's pissed off. Lori is a music therapist who needs to scale down her appetite and tune up her physique. This isn't a hike, this is a flippin' marathon! If she doesn't want to be a bulging bride. Tommy, you're up, you can go bite me! Have you picked up the tuxes yet? Uh, shamefully, no, not yet. We still have to do the seating plan, the places we want to get our pictures taken. Steve still needs to get fit for his tux. You know what, I think we'll pull it off. You see couples go through this every time, uh, or you hear of it, and somehow, some way, they pull it off. Yeah, he's last second, I'm not. <laughs> Steve, you really loves me, and we're gonna get married, but I I work as a music therapist, and I work at a few different nursing homes around town, and I will go hours and hours and hours without eating because I'll just have too many things on my plate, and I won't take the time, and then I'll just grab something on the go. Oh, I love sushi. It's so good. Love tempura, miso soup. If it was my last meal, I would probably pick sushi. It's okay. tight. I had to have this beautiful princess dress. It was so important that I look perfect in it on that day because it's my dream dress. You know, I want to look perfect. I'm Tommy Europe, personal trainer. This is my partner, nutrition coach Nadine Bowman. We're in a mission to help brides look great on the big day. Lori, get ready to walk down your aisle of shame. First stop along the way, the Late Late Show and it's one night of your late night meals and snacks. Holy moly, that's a lot of food. It is a lot of food. It's going straight to you know where. Yep. Storage. OK, well, let's check out the next station. All right. I call this platter the cup runneth over. <laughs> Are you kidding me? And in your case, it runneth way over. This is one month of your booze consumption. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I had no idea. We're talking 11,000 calories in one month. You know what that converts to in pounds of fat on your body? Oh, I don't even want to know. Well, you're going to have to. It's three pounds. Really? Yeah, because you're not waking up in the morning, drinking a glass of wine, and then burning it off. But could I? I call this next station Little Killers. The little killers that are ruining your chances of fitting into that wedding dress. This is one week of your bad snacking habits. You are consuming about three to 500 extra calories a day and it's in stuff like this. Tommy's waiting to show you how all of this stuff is affecting your body shape. Are you ready to see him? I'm really not surprised that I can't fit in the dress when I look at all of those extra calories I consume. Hi, Lori. Welcome to your shape analysis. Bust, 40 inches. Wow. Don't suck it in. All right. Waist, 36. Hips, 40. Ooh. Let's get you up on the scale. Weight, 100. 51 pounds. Ooh, that is not good. Well, let's look at the complete picture. You're five foot three, wear a dress size of 10 to 12. Weight, 
151 pounds, body type, rectangle. I don't like the rectangle shape. And if we lose enough in the right places, that body type might change. Well, let's get a picture of how you look in a dress right now. Lori, meet Jean, our stylist. She's gonna help you into your Hello. dress. Nice to meet you. Right this way. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. All right. Holy popping out. <laughs> yeah. Jean, what's going on with the dress? Um, it is quite tight. We did have to squeeze her in there a bit. Um, there's a bit of spillage over the top and the back and in the front as well. You can see there's a lot of busting out of the dress. Also, it's quite tight in the waist and it's creating a lot of lines and a lot of bunching here. Once the dress starts to fit smoothly, all those wrinkles are gonna fall out of place. It's gonna glide over your body. But right now it's too tight, I'm sorry yeah. to say. We wanna try to get some inches and pounds lost everywhere. We need to lose that, okay? Cleavage is great, but not back here. <laughs> and take some inches off your waist, try and create more of an hourglass figure, and you'll be glowing on your wedding day. Can't wait. Do you promise to never cheat on your meal plan for the next six weeks? I promise. And do you promise to stick to your fitness plan, even when it seems things aren't going very well? I promise. In six weeks, we're gonna tone up Lori's arms and melt inches from her waist and hips. This is it, this is my only option. It's down to crunch time, so I don't have any other, it's not like I can go get a new dress. This one has to look great. Morning, Lori. Welcome to Tommy's Playground. This is gonna be an assessment of your physical capabilities. You in shape? This is called run into the chapel. Chances are you're gonna be late. Drive those knees, drive those knees, drive those knees. Don't knock over my cones, Lori! Core exercises are gonna be a staple of Lori's program. Um, she is weaker in the core, and because she is thicker through the middle, um, I know that's gonna be pretty challenging for her. This next drill, eternally bound. Good, jump straight up. Better get used to this, because once you say I do, you will be eternally bound. I totally feel it in my abs and in my core, and just the intensity of doing it consecutively without taking a break, I can feel it. I think I'm gonna hurt tomorrow. Knees up, knees up, knees up, knees up. Oh, I hate my feet. That's okay, you're gonna come to love them. She's enthusiastic and really wants to work hard. It's just a matter of can she last for six weeks. Okay, Lori, time to find a tux. Go. Uh, uh. That's pissed off? No, uh, that's pissed off. I'm really not angry at Steve, but <laughs> I'm frustrated that that's one of the things we haven't done yet with only a few weeks left to go. We need to get you some more endurance. This is the beginning. It will get better if you keep putting the work in. I'm pretty active, yeah. but just to really kick it up the notch is what I'm working to do, and it's tough. Next, can Lori resist temptation at her stagette? Tommy, you have, you can go bite me! <laughs> it's okay. too tight. Bride to be Lori desperately wants to fit into her dress and look like a princess on her wedding day. I'm really worried, you guys. This is not fitting. Hi, Lori. Hey, Tommy. Now, you like your wine, you like to eat out late, and between you and Steve, you guys are pretty inactive. You keep that up, this is what can happen to you. My goodness. Oh, that's horrible. It doesn't have to be that way, though. If you follow your nutrition, and your fitness plan, you could look like this. Oh, that's much better. I like that. Ready to work for it? Absolutely. Great, let's go. All right. Go down into the lunge. As you come up, you're stepping up. This knee comes straight up. Come back slow, land it, down the lunge, up, nice and slow. Facts are, she's a rectangle, for now. If she puts the work in, she can definitely slim down to an hourglass, but it's not gonna be easy. Now, because your entire core is working here, you're gonna burn more calories, and that's gonna help slim you down. Lori's gonna be working out three times a week with me, three times a week by yourself. With me, it's gonna be full body exercises. Don't let that back sink. Really focus when those feet go back, your back stays solid. I wanna look beautiful on my wedding day. Damn it, anyhow. <laughs> oh, crap. 
Come on, Lori. We're just getting started. Welcome to one day in the life of your new food plan. That doesn't look like very much food. This is gonna get you fit and firm fast. Breakfast. You're gonna have one cup of whole grain cereal, and that's one teaspoon of flaxseed. Okay? You love your sushi. You could eat it every day. I could. You're gonna be eating it once a week as a treat. Aww. This is six sushi rolls, salmon, mm -hmm. with brown rice. And we're also gonna go with the low sodium or sodium reduced soya sauce. Okay, Again. if that's what I have to do, I'll, I can handle that. Okay. Then dinner. Mm. You've got four ounces of the extra lean steak. You've got a half zucchini, one grilled red pepper, six asparagus, and you can grill these vegetables in one teaspoon of olive oil. Yeah, that looks pretty good. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, for sure. Well, what about this stagette that you have coming up? Do I have to follow my food plan that day? Oh, yeah. I will behave myself as to the best of my ability, but I can't make any real promises on my own. <laughs> I know my girlfriends are gonna be planning some crazy thing for me to do like they always do, and I seriously don't know if I'm gonna be able to take the temptation. I'm so hammered. <laughs> I don't wanna be that good on my steak yet. I only get to do it once, you know? How bad is a little bit of wine and sushi gonna be for me anyway? Tommy, you're up, you can go bite me! Tommy. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. How are you feeling today? Not so good. good. Have a good time with the stag yet? Yeah. Saw so lots of tempura, fried, of course, martinis, and it looked like you guys were dancing around quite a bit. Seeing as you like dancing so much, you'll be doing a hip hop class today. Oh, no way. <laughs> Jen, this is Lori. Hello. She is the bride. Apparently, they like to dance. Oh, this is good news. I'm gonna leave it up to you. All right. Don't go easy on them. <laughs> Have fun, girl. Done. You wanna pay attention to that rhythm. That's your rhythm, right? So we're bouncing. Hit. Remember that weight transfer? Five, six, seven, drop down. Hit. Two. Lori, you owe me. <laughs> Big time for this. I don't think my friends really appreciated that they were punished, but they knew what they were in for. All right, ladies, you ready to step it up a notch? One, two, three, and four. Boom. Oh, you guys, this sucks. I'm so sorry. She has to know that she has to stick with the program, stick to her meal plan, stick to her fitness plan. No slip-ups. Zero. Hop, hop, hop. Step, shoulder, arch, hip, hip, hip. Step, hip, hop, clap, hop, hip, hop. Hip-hop is really hard. You feel very incredibly uncoordinated. <laughs> I didn't realize how uncoordinated it was, actually. It's pretty bad. <laughs> I will not cheat again. That's it. It's crunch time. Jen, that was awesome. how did you do? You guys worked your butts off. I'm really, really impressed with you guys. That looked awesome. Awesome. Your friend only has a little while left. She has to fit in that dress, so she needs your help. Stag gets done. You got to take it serious for the next few weeks. Yeah. All right. I can do it. You can do it. Next. I can't believe you're gonna eat that in front of me. Beyonce Steve is a big tease. Whatever. I just thought you might want to cheat one more time. Drive those knees. Drive those knees. Drive those knees. Music therapist Lori is hoping to scale down before her wedding, but went way off the charts at her stag end. I don't think I've ever worked out so hard in my life. My body is aching me. Hey guys. Lori, the three week weigh in is upon you. Bust, 38 inches. Down two inches. Okay, I'll take that. Waist, 35. You've lost one inch. Hmm, that's it? One's better than none. All right. Hips, 38. All right, you've lost two inches. Let's get you back on the scale again. Weight, 147 pounds. Hmm. You've lost four pounds. I wish it was a little bit more because I feel like I've been putting so much work in these last three weeks. It's hard to lose weight, but you are doing the right things. Mm -hmm. We do need more. Lori was pretty disappointed with her results. I mean, she has been working very hard mm -hmm. and I want to keep her motivated and keep her driven. So to do that, I'm going to send her off to Jean. She's going to get some bling. Every girl likes jewelry. I'm hoping Lori's the same. So you're wearing a strapless top, which is great because it mimics the neckline of your wedding dress. 
I tend to favor the look of an earrings and bracelet set because uh, especially with Lori's dress, there's applique on the front. So if there's a necklace, it really takes away from the detailing on her dress. I love necklaces, absolutely. So I have to try at least a couple on. Yeah, let's try yeah. on some necklaces. Okay. This is an Elsa Corsi necklace and it is a stunner. Holy. As soon as Lori put this beautiful crystal necklace on, it was almost like she was overcome with emotion. And when someone reacts that strong to something they put on, oh, I think she's gotta have it. Rules are meant to be broken. I love it. Absolutely love it. I feel like a princess in it. With my princess dress, what do you think? You're gonna look like a princess. It is beautiful. Sweetheart, how you doing? Uh, yeah. I can't believe you're gonna eat that in front of me. I'm getting more stressed out because it seems like everything is all piling up on me right now. Man, if I could just eat a big, huge, yummy piece of pizza, I would be so happy. Steve, come on! You cheated on your steak. I, oh, don't I just even thought, bring that in. I just thought you might want to cheat one more time. She's not sleeping a whole lot because of the mounting stress, and uh, guess what? I'm not sleeping a lot either. I'll just plan Munch the wedding myself. Mm. I've got way too much stuff mm. to do right now to deal mm. with you. Oh. This isn't a hike, this is a fucking marathon! Next, can Lori and Steve get back in sync? and the final results. Wait. Musician Lori has been working hard on tuning up her physique as she tries to get in harmony with her wedding dress. I'm still a little nervous. I don't feel as good as I want to feel. Lori. Hey, Tommy. Steve. Tommy. We have a seven kilometer hike. Seven Ks? Seven Ks. Aren't you done beating on me yet? No, I'm not. Come on, stretch those legs. All right. It was more like an insane sprint of running up crazy hills. It was yeah. exhausting. It was not for the faint of heart. This isn't a hike, this is a flipping marathon! Oh. Run, 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 you're doing well. Me too. Lori and Steve performed very well. Um, they're a lot of fun to be with. Uh, they crack jokes all the time. They push each other, they work hard. They work hard and play hard. My rule in life. Come on, Steve, pick up the pace! Come on, you two. Go, Lori, go, 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 go. Okay. She actually whooped my butt, I think, for at least half of it. <laughs> oh, yeah, but you kept up with me, so that was great. <laughs> Water's around the corner. Come on, full speed, sprint! Come on! Woo! <laughs> we did it! Oh, run, run. <sighs> Congratulations. You survived 7K. Thanks, Tommy. Nice work. Barely, yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm really proud of myself for just working hard. And committing and sticking to it. Absolutely. Promise you guys we're gonna end up by the water. Here it is, beautiful view. Let's enjoy it. All right. Absolutely. This is amazing. Hi, Lori. Hey, guys. Final weigh-in today. Bust, 37 inches. You've lost three inches. Yeah, I'll take that. Waist, 33. All right, you've lost three inches off your waist as well. Wow. Hips, 38. Hmm. You've lost two inches off your hips. That's okay. I thought they would have changed from the three weeks, but oh well. Up on the scale. Okay. Weight, 140 pounds. No way. Yes, yes way. way. You've lost 11 pounds. Wow. So 11 pounds, eight inches. You worked very hard for every one of those pounds and inches. Wow. <laughs> now you're gonna work hard for us one more time. Let's squeeze you into that dress. Okay, Lori's the moment of truth. Are you ready? I'm ready. So far, so good. Wow. Just like that, to hear it? Yeah. <laughs> As a surprise for Lori, I invited some special guests to see how she looks in the dress now. Oh my goodness! <laughs> hi guys! <laughs> surprise! <laughs> oh, oh, hi! Oh, Grandma! Hi! Wow! You guys, I can't believe you came! Oh, you look amazing! Thank you! Wow. So I guess you guys are happy. <laughs> you sure? Yeah, thank you. I don't remember how beautiful. Gene, tell us what's going on here. 
Oh, remember in the very beginning, we, we actually could zip up the dress, but it was very uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. You couldn't breathe, it was really tight in the waist. There was some spillage going on, but now in this, look at her back. Her back is beautiful. It's totally sculpted, there's no spillage. In the front, there's no spillage, also totally smooth, a really nice line. You can really see how beautiful the dress is and how beautiful you are. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you so much. I could not have done this without you. It was a pleasure working with you. I feel like I've really accomplished a huge goal. It's been a lot of hard work, and I'm really proud of myself. To lose that many inches and that many pounds and to do it in a healthy way, you know, she worked hard and she really did it, so I'm so proud of her. Lori looked like a complete princess when she walked out. Now everything's nice and sleek and tapered and just showing off who she truly is, and that's a beautiful woman. Lori worked hard and lost 11 pounds and 8 inches. She looks gorgeous in her dress and will definitely be smiling as she glides down the aisle on her wedding day. Ever since I've been a little girl, i dreamed about my wedding day, so I'm so excited. And I can't wait for everyone to see me in the dress that fits wonderfully, and I can't wait for Steve to see me. And uh, I think I'm just gonna be overwhelmed with emotion.